in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of March the 16, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea, because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing of him to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour was not yet come, had not yet come. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we have this very interesting segment of the Gospel of John. The Jews, the ones that were supposed to be closer to God, are the ones that are trying to kill the Son of God. The Lord Jesus Christ is moving about in Galilee. He doesn't want to travel into Judea, because the Galilee is the Galilee of the pagans. The praise where perhaps they don't care much about religion and or perhaps they are more open to God we do not know it will be interesting to see and to find out what was happening probably both they were closer to God and not so much intent on the religion the way the Pharisees wanted to impose it they were a pagan country far from from Jerusalem but it is interesting how the ones that are supposed to love, to care, to serve God, are the ones that want to kill Him. Could it happen perhaps today? I would say yes, especially those that are ignorant. And we see, why do I say this? Because he says that he went up in secret, and some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem looked at him, and they started to murmur about him. Is he not the one that they are trying to kill? He's speaking openly and nobody tells him anything. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But they are mocking him and the authorities too. We know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know. They are assuming. They think they know. But in reality, they do not know. They never investigated. They never even dared to ask him. And even if they did, they didn't want to hear the answer. Is it possible that the ones that we have learned, either in the seminary or the universities, about theology, about religion, have we become so cynical, so hard-headed, that we might be denying God, reading the gospel, even, even reading the gospel the way we want, and not really reading what the Lord is telling us? The central point today is this, I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, he is true. The one who you do not know. How? Please write down on the, on the comments and tell me. How can there be thousands upon thousands of courses? Some of them are well-intentioned and many of them are not just for profit, about psychology, about spirituality, about integrity of life, development, self-development, uh, and all kinds of stuff. How can we reach our potential truly if we do not know who we are, what we are for, why we are here? There is absolutely no way that man can answer that. Only in the mystery revealed of God made man in Jesus Christ 
can we understand the mystery that we are ourselves. Only there can we find out what our purpose is. We know for sure what our needs. We love truth, even though there are many that would argue that we do not, but we do love truth in the heart. We love goodness. We also love pleasure, which is such a way of goodness, but it's also the way of the violence that the demons make against us by the pleasure of the body. And there are higher pleasures, just as Aristotle or Plato would say. Those of the soul are much higher. And then there is friendship and love. And we will not find love by loving ourselves only. That will, be, that will lead us into egoism. And no one who is an egoist can love other than himself. In the long run, he is bound to be alone to be left alone, despairing in anguish. Only through God will we find our true potential. Only through God will we find life and life eternal and friendship and love, especially love. Only in God will we find our own lives hidden in Christ. The question remains, do you know the Father who sent the Lord Jesus Christ? And how will you know him? Well, there is absolutely no way other than to hear the Lord and heed him and obey him. And from there, as we start and dare to follow him, we might be granted the ability to start believing and loving him. And then we will, in turn, rejoice in the love of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.